Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you your first project in uh, ASPX.NET VB. Um, first thing we're going to need to do is start up Visual Studio 2010. Any version works. You can, use it, you can even get their uh, web developer, which is a free version. You're going to have to give it a minute to start up. While it's starting up, I'll explain a bit what we're doing. Um, for you, for those of you that don't know, ASPX is kind of like a web version of Visual Basics or C Sharp. Very, very useful because everything is going web-based now. Um, it's very easy to use, very simple. It's actually the same language as Visual Basics. Uh, you can get around without knowing any HTML, but it is recommended that you know a tiny bit. But not really. You don't really need to. Um, so don't get turned off by that. We can still use it. Sorry, this is taking a while to load up. I got an installer running. Um, today I'm going to show you just uh, your way around the project. Maybe add a button or two, text box, stuff, stuff like that. Um, in the next video, I'm definitely going to be showing you how to set up your own ASPX host, which you'll hopefully find very very helpful. Um, if you need help. We've just OPX spot on my form. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Sorry guys, I'm running install. It's running slow on me. And it's Facebook. Okay. So first, you're going to file. New project should be the same in all versions of this program um, for the purposes of information later when we're creating our project we're going to be using net framework 2.0 because when hosting on your own computer ISS only supports up to 2.0 or as far as I know only supports up to 2.0 so well I should say it visual basics web this make sure this is set to net framework 2.0 first project click OK now we're gonna give it a minute uh, our uh, website host is HTTP Two forward slashes sph dot survey http again dot com volume insert and uh, try again continue continue oh great I think I just screwed up my install but okay not a big deal install still taking a while to load volume okay guys let me fix this okay there we go so the first thing when you pull it up is you'll probably see this just come over here on the bottom and click design that's the great thing about this is it's all design oriented and uh, that's what we're aiming for so we got you, got the body here so I'm just going to show you how similar it is to Visual Basics by transferring text. The reason I'm starting with this is for those who are starting out with ASPX and haven't learned any Visual Basics or C Sharp. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just do this is your text and they'll go to toolbox I know I've got a lot of things running. I've got. I want to add a button and a label. Design also looks a bit different. Label. Normally I don't rename my stuff, but that's just because I'm working on it. But uh, it needs to be a good habit of mine to rename it which I don't have okay so let's just put display text
I need to pin this down. Okay. Text equals click me. I know some of you are okay. Well, I'll say what I was gonna say later. This right here looks oddly similar to uh, other Visual Basics projects because it is. You got your form load, and uh, instead of thinking of this as a form or as a system, you need to think of it as a web page. Just you'll see, it's important to think of it that way instead of a different way. And these are protected because obviously this is a web page and it needs to be protected for information sharing purposes <coughs> sorry got a bit of a cold here but stuffed up so we're going to put display text dot text equals this is your text and then we'll also do a message box hello message box style how about we just do critical then make the title hi no we'll make it welcome message so now we're going to debug and as you'll see um, it actually creates a local host, local host server for you and it will run it in your default browser but it may take a second. Trust me, none of this stuff will take this long on your computer. I could have been done with the tutorial. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well, here it is, right here. Localhost, it just made all that. And uh, it runs in default ASPX. Click me. Message box shows up. Hello. This is your text. <coughs> so, right now, you can see how it works just like a Visual Basics application in almost every way. Now, what you're going to notice is if you try to upload this to a server, it won't work. Um, and that's going to be in the next tutorial about how to host your own server. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, website address. Uh, it's a redirect, sph.serverhttp.com. It'll be in the link. <coughs> Hope you enjoy the Christmas theme. If you don't like Christmas, get over it. Um, <coughs> we just added an ASPX section. Um, there's nothing in it right now. I'll be fixing that shortly. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good Christmas and happy holidays.